Hi, this is Ryan Bossery from RyeWire, and we're here at my shop, and let's talk a little bit more about my business, RyeWire. So RyeWire was established in 2005, and it was a company that was just running pretty much out of my house, and it grew into a small rented building into now a little bit larger owned building. The unique things about RyeWire is that, you know, it's a really small business. It's only a few guys independently owned by myself. And I'm passionate just like the rest of all the other automotive enthusiasts. I really focus on just creating really cool cars and doing what I want to do because the second that this gets boring, I'm going to lose a lot of interest and it's just not going to be the same. And that's really all that's important. When I first heard about Benpack, um, I think it was just when I was casually visiting friends' shops, maybe working on cars, and I just saw Benpack, 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 like everywhere. And then I looked into the catalog a bit more and I realized, oh, they got the four post storage lifts, they the two post lifts, and then that's why I settled on, on what I settled on. Here we have a build that I brought to SEMA actually this past year, and this is my 99 Civic Hatchback. It has a dual motor, so it's got two motors in it. It's all-wheel drive, it's full electric, and it has an 85 kilowatt battery pack. And it's a structural battery pack. There's actually modules hidden under the floor. It's very ahead of its time, and it's something that we definitely you know, pride ourselves on building here. This is one of my electric conversion cars as well. This is an S2000. And then one of my buddies, CRXs, is just above that. This is kind of my cars and coffee slash track day car. I've owned this car for a long time and it's a lot of fun and I clearly beat it up because the front end's pretty busted and the lips all split, but it's all in good fun. You should be able to take this car out and really enjoy it, drive it in the canyons and stuff like that. So we've had the lifts in the shop for about two years now, been using them for about a year and a half and Benpack actually sent their staff in to do the install and that was really nice because I didn't have to do anything. I just had them come in, they had lifting equipment, they went up in like a day or so, and then we've just been using them daily ever since. The biometric arms on the two post lifts actually make it really handy because you can load your vehicle symmetrically or asymmetrically. And I noticed that when I serviced my Tundra, we use the triple telescoping arms and they actually just went in three stages, boom, boom, boom. Totally got the pickup points, no problem. I was able to just pull it straight in and you know, like either direction didn't matter. It accommodates both. I could do my service, big truck, it's heavy, and it made no difference at all. So currently I have two two post lifts and those are my service lifts where I actually like work on daily. And then I have three four post lifts and that's predominantly for storage, but I have done a little bit of lifting, you know, like I had to do a fuel tank on one of the cars and it made it really easy to access because it was in the perfect position. It really makes everything in the shop feel like it just goes away when those cars are there. It's almost like you're looking at a picture of the car instead of anything actually like taking up floor space. Safety is really important, especially because, you know, I have expensive cars that I care about. I don't want to have anything happen. And seeing that gold label on my lifts really gave me the peace of mind that I'm going to be safe while working under them. I'm Ryan from RyeWire, and I just want to thank Ben Pack for coming down here and having a look.